Sheboygan County man or Sheboygan County crash leaves one man dead and a police officer injured. First hate crime charges since 2013 filed in Sheboygan County. 84 Kohler jobs cut mostly in Sheboygan County. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, September 17th, 2019. An investigation is underway after a fatal crash involving a Plymouth police officer. According to the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Office, a 77-year-old man was killed in the crash that happened around 3 o'clock Monday afternoon in the town of Linden. Investigators say they were the only two people involved in the two-car collision that happened at the intersection of State Highway 57 and County Road N. The 35-year-old female Ply Plymouth police officer sustained non-life-threatening injuries and was taken to the hospital. According to the preliminary investigation, the unidentified man was driving eastbound across State 57 on County Road N in front of the woman's vehicle, which was headed north on State 57, and the investigation is still ongoing. A hate crime charge filed against a father and his son are the first such charges in Sheboygan County since 2013. The charges involve 63-year-old Scott Roeder and 32-year-old Ryan Roeder, who were both involved in a, a July 4th altercation. Police say the incident involved numerous suspects repeatedly using racial slurs and ordering young African-American women to go back to Milwaukee. The incident also involved a physical altercation that later took place between several suspects and the father of one of the young black females. Sheboygan County District Attorney Joel Ermanski said that the physical actions and statements, including racial slurs and a threat to hang someone from a tree, went beyond disorderly conduct. Officials say a hate crime isn't a charge on its own. It amplifies an existing charge. Both rotors face several charges for the July 4th fight that occurred on North 2nd Street in Sheboygan. A pretrial conference is scheduled for Ryan Roeder today, and a status conference for Scott Roeder is scheduled for November 1st. A dog bite has Sheboygan police asking for the public's help. They say a 15-year-old girl was bitten by a dog on Friday just before 7.30 in the morning. The girl was apparently bitten in the leg by a dog described as a miniature collie in the 2600 block of North 13th Street. According to the police, the dog was being walked by a woman who had the dog on a leash and after the bite started walking eastbound on North Avenue. The dog was described as a fluffy reddish brown dog with white markings. The woman walking the dog was described as 30 to 40 years of age, thin build, with short hair. Anyone with information about this is urged to call the Sheboygan Police Department. Deer hunting season is here. With archery and crossbow season starting this past Saturday, the big hunt, the gun deer season, doesn't begin until late November. But regardless of how hunters bag their trophy, the DNR is encouraging testing for deer for the chronic wasting disease. And the only con consume venison from deer in which CWD is not detected. Not all Wisconsin counties are affected, and Sheboygan County is not a surveillance area this year, but testing will be given on request. CWD is a fatal disease of deer that hasn't yet been shown to affect humans that consume affected venison. But state public health veteran Rachel Kloss says that the safest approach is to only consume venison that tests free of CWD. A list of testing options is posted at, 
on the Wisconsin's DNR website. The Kenosha man accused of selling thousands of THC-laced electronic cigarette cartridges have been formally charged with four counts. Tyler Huffings, 20, faces three counts of possession with the intent to distribute and maintaining a drug trafficking place. According to a criminal complaint, he would fly to California to buy THC oil in bulk, then come back to Wisconsin and fill thousands of cartridges with substances. Huffins has is being held on a $50,000 cash bond. He and his brother Jacob were at the head of the ring and were arrested on September 5th. The pair was found to have nearly $60,000 in cash, along with guns and other drugs such as cocaine and marijuana in their home. At a second local lo location in the town of Bristol, investigators found 31,200 vape cartridges already filled and ready to be shipped out. Each contained one gram of THC, and they also found approximately 98,000 cartridges that were unfilled. Investigators also located 57 mason jars filled with THC oil. Each jar was valued at roughly $6,000. In all, authorities estimated they seized THC products with a street value of $1.5 million. Officials described the operation as empire of illegal drugs. The takedown marked the end of two-month game of cat and mouse when the that started when parents of a Waukesha teen came to police after discovering that their teenager had some of the cartridges. With the help of the parents, investigators ended up in Kenosha County where the Huffings were arrested. And finally, 84, year old, er, 84 Kohler workers have been laid off in an action the company attributed to positioning for long-term success. The move, which affected non-union employees, followed the announcement earlier this year that his small engines division was being moved from Wisconsin to Hattiesburg, Mississippi, but was not related to the, that action. Most of those affected by this week's adjustments live in Sheboygan County. No layoffs were in the manufacturing operations, and some were given early retirement. Kohler Company is Sheboygan County's largest employer, with over 5,000 employees here, part of 7,500 member statewide workforce. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.